Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Ticket Thursday where I share real world tickets that we get at work, their solutions and best practices in managing your ticket queues. So if you're interested in this kind of videos, I also made a playlist for the Ticket Thursday episodes. I think this is the fifth or sixth episode. So if you're interested, please check that out as well. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so let's get right to the point. We are now in our ticketing system and currently there's four open tickets. So best practice is if you see new open tickets or tickets that are not assigned yet, you should look into the priority level and see which ones you should prioritize first. Okay, so based on the priority level, let's see which one we should do first. So there is an urgent ticket in here so that goes on top of the priority list so let's look into this computer issue that was submitted by caesar in here so this is an actual ticket at work that i got and this is the exact wording that the user submitted okay it says i need assistance on monday my computer was upgraded on tuesday wednesday thursday and today i have not been able to sign on tuesday it spent hours reprogramming my computer wednesday and thursday it became a bit easier but i have lost files so if you can see in here it doesn't provide a lot of information or details a lot of times the users or your co-workers would submit ticket like this which are very vague to understand so it's really important to bring your communication skills in here so that you can understand what they're trying to say, get more information from them for you to solve the problem easier and faster. Okay, best practice. First things first is that you should assign the ticket to yourself. So I am just going to assign this to myself in here. That's the first thing. And then respond to the user that you are looking into the issue. Or in this case, since it's very vague, ask for more information like hi Caesar I'm able to assist with this issue or let me okay. let me know when you're available so I can look into this issue so since there's a lot of missing information in here you really don't know exactly what's going on based on the ticket that the user submitted the best thing to do here is to respond that you have acknowledged the ticket and then just look into the computer in person because it's easier that way if you are talking to that person compared to going back and forth with emails or with tickets because sometimes the user doesn't even know how to explain the problem and in this case sometimes it's better to see it for yourself so once i'm done with my response i'm just gonna click on in progress in here and it will email the user and let them know what my response is and it will also change the status in the ticketing system it's really important to update your status so that other members from your team would know that you're working on it and also the manager will see that you're working on your tickets so Caesar's computer died and was replaced and he has a new computer now and he logged in before the computer was properly added to the domain so it created a temp folder instead of the proper user folder. So the issue is whenever he logs in it keeps creating temp folder and have to start setting up all his apps from scratch like Outlook, printers and more. Some causes for this issue is insufficient free space on your system drive, usually the C drive, that can prevent Windows from loading your user profile, or your user profile might be corrupted or inconsistent, causing it to malfunction. So my first attempt in solving this issue is to have the user log in to a different computer and see if the profile works there. So Caesar's login works on a different computer and his profile was working properly without creating the temp folders. And that indicates that there's nothing wrong with the profile and it's now a computer issue. So based on my experience, after seeing this issue before, there is a registry fix that can just easily fix this issue. On your computer, just type in reg edit onto the search and it'll open the registry. Go to the local machine in here, software, and then look for Microsoft. And then Windows, Windows NT in here, current version, and then under profile list. Okay, you will see something under the profile that will have this extension .bask. 
think it means uh, backup for the profile or the account so that is what's causing the issue it will that is the temporary profile that is being created every time the user logs in that's why they lose all of their settings and they have to do the settings again so to fix this issue all you have to do is to click on this account or profile the one with the bak and just delete it right click and then you can delete that registry entry okay so let's check on the next ticket that we have to do so based on the priority level let's go for the high priority ticket which is this one so this is from maurice and he said that i was required to change my password today i cannot send email from outlook now either from desktop at our facility or from home on desktop outlook presents this message under the helpful message error something went wrong okay so this is a better ticket than the one earlier because this at least the user provided information even the error message so that's very helpful and they are explaining very well what the issue is which is that they cannot send the email after changing their password so that is a very good thing so based on this error message you can actually search up the error code in here you can google this one because most of the time it's available online and they also have the resources for the fixes most of the time so error messages are really important and screenshots so let's go ahead and try to look up what this error code is okay so there are different examples in here from microsoft community for example that people have the same issue with this so they also can't log in on teams so i think this is specific to microsoft applications just like teams outlook so in here you can get an idea on how to fix the issue okay so since i've already seen this error message before and it's quite common for people who are changing passwords this error code is caused by an outdated or corrupted login credential or information that is still saved or cached in the program so since he said that he just changed his password i think that his old password is still cached into outlook the outlook program that's why it's not refreshing with the new emails so the fix for this is simple i'm gonna have maurice sign out and sign back in so there's different ways to do this you can go to the upper right portion of outlook and click on the account and there's a sign out in the drop box there or you can click on the file tab and go to the account settings and sign out from there okay so let's look into our next ticket and so we have work on the urgent and the high these two are normal priorities so it's really up to you which ones you take first so let's see the laptop issue this is requested or submitted by rocket so it says my laptop keeps giving me this error message see attached image so it shows a windows license will expire soon in here and once again this is another example of a really good ticket because it, it provides information it's clear what the error message is because they provided the screenshot so it's really good so this issue is also easy to fix so the cause of this issue is that the computer or the laptop has not connected to the network for a long time and it fell off the domain so what you need to do is to just reconnect the computer to the domain and do a gp update and that will reconnect it to the network and the domain and the error message will disappear all right so for our last ticket of the day for this episode let's check out this locked out of hotline ticket from buck okay it says in here hi i answered the wrong passcode for the hotline are you able to unlock it please i have the correct passcode now to use so this is also very clear what the issue is and what they needed from it so we also get this kind of requests or tickets from phone systems okay so the phone system varies from one company to another and in our company we use the cisco unity connection for our voicemail so for this issue we just go to the cisco unity portal go to search users and search by the extension number or the hotline number 
then you just go to the edit and password settings and at the very bottom there should be a button called unlock pin and that's how you just unlock an extension number and that should fix the issue for the ticket and then just respond to the user hi okay so this one you can just mark as solved because most of the time if there's another issue the user will reopen the ticket if they are still having issues okay so that will be it for today's video i hope you learned something and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them on the comment section below i hope to see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching